Deutsche Asset Management is one of the largest asset managers in the world. We've got about a trillion Aussie dollars worth of investments across all asset classes. Within that, our alternatives division manages a bit over 100 billion of assets, predominantly in listed and direct real estate, and also listed and direct infrastructure securities. Uh, our team covering global real estate securities is made up of 19 investment professionals who are located all around the world in Chicago, Sydney, Hong Kong and Tokyo. A Deutsche Asset Management is the investment manager of the Global Securities Fund and the domestic fund that is distributed by Ironbark. Ironbark provides the distribution, marketing and client services for the funds. Alignment with our investors is critically important. We do that by two means. One is through personal investments into the funds and secondly is the remuneration structure of the investment team. Uh, our, our bonuses and pay uh, have a significant portion that's related to the underlying performance of our funds. And this really allows alignment to our objectives and with the clients. We both win together. The objective of the fund is to really deliver consistent, stable, total returns which are made up of an income stream but also capital growth. The performance objective is really to outperform our benchmark over a rolling three-year basis. We also aim to maximise the risk-adjusted total returns by getting the highest return without taking too much risk. There's a number of uh, things that we look at. The first one is that real estate fundamentals are the key. You need to be an expert in the real estate markets because real estate securities prices are driven by the underlying fundamentals of the markets that those assets are in. The second part is that like normal real estate, listed real estate is a local business. You need local specialists who are in the market that know the cultures, that know the assets to be able to pick the stocks well. And then the last part is that global securities markets are very complex and inefficient. So you need people with a very thorough bottom-up process who can take advantage and identify those opportunities. The first part of our process is define the investment universe and the opportunity set. We look at over 400 global real estate securities across, across the globe with a market cap of about one and a half trillion dollars. We look through those and we only want to focus on those stocks that have predominantly real estate earnings or, or asset base. Once we define our opportunity set, we undertake both qualitative and quantitative analysis. The quantitative analysis really involves detailed bottom-up valuations of the stocks. This involves underlying cash flows, uh, looking at the balance sheet of the company to derive a fundamental valuation of the company. After that, we undertake a qualitative assessment. And this really goes up to talking to management seeing the quality of their execution of the strategy, and then also the growth prospects of the company. Once we have these two factors, we combine them to determine a, a total return and outlook for each company. Then we construct the portfolio to balance risk and return and by owning those companies that screen well on both our factors. Our process is a little bit different from others. We don't allocate to specific countries or regions. Instead, we break up the universe into 27 discrete buckets or categories, which are typically along the lines of asset class and country exposure. And then what we do is we allocate to those buckets from a top-down perspective, but it's really driven, down, driven by the bottom-up returns of the stocks in each of those categories. So we're not taking large top-down decisions, but it's really driven by a bottom-up process in terms of which categories and buckets have the best returns. It's important to notice that when we look at our total returns for the fund, 90% of it actually comes from the bottom up stock selection rather than that country allocation process because we keep that quite muted. The objective of the fund is to deliver real estate returns. Therefore, we manage the currency risk by hedging the returns back to Aussie dollars. The broad risks of the portfolio are outlined in the PDS document. Some of the specific risks that we really focus on is country and macro risks. These are risks that are driven not by real estate fundamentals, but things like political events, which can have a serious impact on stock price prices. 
what we do is we really focus on bottom-up stock selection where we're targeting stock-specific risk and not taking those big, large country macro positions. The direct real estate markets have been very strong over the last couple of years. We've seen a lot of capital go into purchasing office buildings, residential and logistics assets. This has pushed asset values up and their yields down. But what we are seeing in the listed space is that those same assets are actually relatively cheaper in the listed market as the yields are not quite as high as in the direct market. So in some markets and some assets, you can get the same exposure, but it's actually more cheaper in the listed space.